All right, guys, we are starting. We're gonna wait uh, for Fran to join us. So I'm going to add her. She should be here in a couple minutes here. She's unable to join on uh, the page, Reggie. It just popped up saying that she's unable to join. I don't know how to do that, but okay. Um, there we go. I pay homage, show mad girls love. Bitches wallin' still talking about the bad girls club. They see me winning, they upset. That's the mad girls club. Girl, who's you? I ain't even see the last girl's song. Like the rough part of town, I think the best room go there. But gets on a hole here, yeah, my neck is snow there. You might catch dream in a drop bins or like a I, I did, I figured out how to send it to her. Have a figure dream. I don't play with these niggas. I'm pretty sure my crib bigger. I don't stay with these niggas. It's MP3 pussy. I don't wait with these niggas. Three, four, seven. I'll save a name for the niggas. I'm a bad bitch. Last bitch. Play me in here. Gotta ass with Mac. Hello. Hi. Sorry, I was just jamming out, waiting for you. <laughs> no, that's okay. I'm like trying to figure out this Instagram live thing. So <laughs> it's very complicated, right? Honestly, I know. Like, I'm like used to like Zoom and stuff. <laughs> yeah. How are I'm you? I just like get like my like stuff, yeah. my power That's thing. No rush. No rush. All right. What's up? How are you? <laughs> oh my God, I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. I uh, my name's Darcy. Just to introduce myself. Hi, I, Darcy. Uh, I'm, I'm Francesca. Wanna... My fan. I'm one of the co-owners of the Reality Positive, uh, Positivity page. We kind of try and do it a little differently because we don't want, um, like a lot of girls didn't do interviews. Like for you, for example, I don't think you've actually spoken out about it, hey? Like you're- About like what? About like you haven't done any Bad Girl Club interviews, have you? No, I actually haven't. Like not since I came home from the show, really. That's because, like, and that's the thing is a lot of, the interviews people tend to go like in a negative direction. Absolutely, and that's why I kind of like steer away from even, you know, even giving people the time of day, you know? But I actually, before we even get any further, I love what you're doing. I love that like, you know, it's a positive platform for you to engage and that's amazing. And I think we need more of that. So I just love what you're doing. It's great and that's why I'm here right now. <laughs> Thank you. Well, and it's also like I specifically like we do have a collective who does this. I, I do most of the interviews, but I, I specifically wanted to do yours because A, you haven't really done an interview and B, I think people have a very large misconception of who you are as a person. Especially, oh, absolutely. Especially because of the internet and like what people don't understand is there was a lot of editing done. And so we just like to give people like a platform to tell their stories. And so, yeah. Let's dive in. So, okay, for, I, I like to do it in a specific way, but how in the heck did you even, like, how did Bad Girls Club even happen for you? All right, this is a really fun question. I get this a lot because I'm a bartender, so obviously um, a lot of my customers ask me questions all the time. Yeah. Um, so basically, I really wanted the real world. Um, when I turned 18, I knew that's when you could start auditioning. So I started applying, um, you know, through Bonham Murray Murray um, to get the real world. And they would give me locations on to where, you know, I would go for um, the interviews or the open call, I want to say. It's called an open call because, yeah. like, anybody can really go to these. 
So I was going for years. I traveled to Boston. I traveled to New York City because I'm here on the East Coast. I'm in Connecticut. And I would actually make a fun little night of it. I'd grab one of my girlfriends and we'd go to the city and I'd do my interview. And I'd be like, all right, let's go out. We'll get a hotel. And so like a couple of years went by and eventually they're like, all right, real world isn't for you. We got something else for you though. Give it a try, like, go, like apply for this. So I did and then my, uh, I went to Boston for the interview and they liked me so much they called me back and then I was there and I, I actually ran into a chick I know from my hometown in Boston at this second interview. Isn't that wild? Small and, world, right? uh, And then eventually uh, they called me and they, they flew me to L.A. And that was actually on my, uh, I think I turned 22 at the time. I was, I was in L.A. in a hotel room by myself on my 22nd birthday because the next day was my final interview. And then I ended up nailing it. So, and I got a call like a week later and then they flew me out right away. Had you seen it, like, the show before? Like, did you know what you were signing up for? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I used to watch it when it was, like, first came out, when it was, like, a little bunch of blonde bimbles like me, you know? <laughs> Look, no, I definitely knew exactly what the show was. It changed over the years, though. I'll definitely say that. Like, compared to season one, you know, and then my season, you could definitely um, see the differences, you know? Uh, which, so, okay, so you get cast and you pull up. Were you disappointed? Because you guys were in like a loft, weren't you? <laughs> you know what? I wasn't disappointed at all because the fact that I was there was super fucking cool. Yeah, no, that's you know, right. <laughs> I mean, really, like, I, they could have fucking put me in a campsite as long as I was like on the Battles Club and then on TV. I was excited, you know? Yeah. I really didn't care. And actually, the loft wasn't even that bad. Um, we had a hot tub. I loved the hot tub. That was cool. I was upset we didn't have like a pool because when we're there, we don't have cell phones. You know, you can't smoke weed. I love my weed, you know, so you can't do any of that. So I'm like trying to like find things to keep myself busy while I'm there, you know? So, hey! I was gonna, I'm waiting till after to smoke my weed. I'm like, I don't wanna be all zooted on live right now. Hey, there's my mom. My mom just joined. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> So yeah, so the loft though, I still thought it was really cool, you know, and just being in LA in general was really just awesome. Yeah, because had you had you done a lot of traveling before then? Because you were like, like you said, you were 22, so. So basically before that, the biggest traveling that I ever done was I went on a Kid Rock cruise. So basically we went to Miami, Florida, and then we uh, took the cruise ship out uh, to Jamaica. And so Kid Rock was on the boat and so was Machine Gun Kelly. That is like everything that I, I love that for you. <laughs> oh yeah, no, like I've totally like, I'm gonna be honest, like the show really did like, I don't really think in the show they like kind of like portrayed me that bad. They kind of did a really good job. You know, I am all about just like rock and roll. Like let's go to a concert, have a good time, you know, throw back a few. You know, I'm really not a negative person really like at all like you know obviously i did i i was in that house for months so you know How after long, a while, you're, long were you there for we were there i want to say for like two months that two months. crazy like these yeah it's a very long time and like i said without you know your cell phone without things to do to keep you safe i mean you could drink but you know, other than that, you know, there was no weed smoking, which a lot of, I think, I think most, I think all of us smoked weed. So it was kind of like really weird. And it was, and it's legal in California, so. Yeah, which is weird that they didn't let you because it was legal at that point there too. It's just because it airs like all over the um, the world. So I think because there's different places that it's not legal. Um, yeah. We actually couldn't even play like beer pong or anything either because they didn't want us to play games that like um, uh, made I don't know, people want to like drink and party. So I don't know, it's very weird. There's a lot of weird rules. <laughs> so when you get in, who, was the, who did you meet up with, right? Because they do a meet up thing, right? Who did you meet with to go to the house? So basically I was the first girl to enter the house, like inside the house itself. I was the first one um, to be there and I was by myself until I forgot what coach showed up first. Um, Cause then, then the girls came in. So yeah, I was in there by myself at first, just going around. So let's do, we'll do it this way and then we can talk about other stories. I like to talk about like the cast members. You can say like whatever, like good, bad, and different, whatever like memory you want to share. Yeah. Uh, a lot of, a lot of people want to know about Kiki. 
Um, Kiki, you know what? And that's a very sore subject for me because I actually found a friend in her. Um, it, it's very sad because actually I can see some comments now. You know, obviously everybody wants to know what happened between Kiki and I. Um, basically, it was just words that got tangled around is exactly what it was. Um, it's, it's a shame. It sucks because... I really did find a friend in her. I actually traveled to North Carolina to spend time with her when the show was over. So it just really sucks. Basically, words were put in my mouth. Um, you know, this, this is just like, I don't even like to say the word, you know, everybody, uh, you know, comes at me for, you know, the R word. I don't even like saying it. It's bullshit. It's crap. I'm just going to say that right now. It's bullshit. It's fucking crap. If I was at all racist, do you think I would have stayed in a house with six other girls that, that have different heritage heritages than me? No, I wouldn't have. No. You know, it's just, it really is all crap. It's its very, it, it offends me personally that like people are even coming at me saying this kind of shit. That's like you don't know me. And this is why I said I wanted to do the interview with you because I, I, I've gotten the brunt end of it doing these interviews being a white male. Um, that actively usually interviews people of other ethnicities. If I make any kind of statements, I get called a racist. Well, exactly, and that's what happens with me as well because, you know, I'm a white woman living on the East Coast, and yeah. honestly, you know what plays a lot in it is politics. So my, my political views are none of anybody's business, first of all, and when Kiki and I were friends, um, we had different political views and we made it a point as friends to be like, we're not going to let this get in between us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like she knows that at that time, um, you know, that, that was the election actually, right, right before we came home, that was the serious election that everybody was freaking out about, you know, Trump and was it Hillary Clinton? So basically we had agreed to just kind of like, no, that, that's, that has nothing to do with our friendship. But I could tell it still irked her. And over time, you know, I just don't think that she could, like, shake that, really. Because that's and, what I off to as the fans was that you had posted in support of Trump and then Kiki kind of, like, went off on you. Yeah, which honestly, like, whoever I support, I mean, there's only two sides. Am I not wrong? So, like, you there's got people out there as well that, that, that – think the same thing I do and, 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 you know, want the president that I do. Do you know what I mean? So it's just like, why am I the only one that's getting attacked? It's, it's bullshit. It's really crap. And, and I'm not racist by at all. It's bullshit. It really is. Um, actually, thought personally you were ever edited to make you look racist. I don't, I don't think you've ever even said anything on the internet to make you look racist. Never. I literally never. And what I do want to reiterate with people is it, the thing is, is just because um, you're of color doesn't mean you can make rem remarks like you dumb white bitch, etc. That is still considered racism. And well, and if you watch the show, and I hate to even talk about it because God bless to Shayla's soul. That's, that is awful what happened. I don't wish that on um, anybody. And, but, um, you know, even on the show, they kind of were saying, oh, this dumbass white girl, shit like that. Well, how come that's okay? You know, and God forbid I say anything at all, or even sing along to a song, let's be honest. Yeah. Then you're you going to be canceled. So basically, yeah, you know, words got misconstrued. I never said anything against a Shayla whatsoever because I don't think anybody deserves that at all. I mean, that was a really awful, awful thing that happened. Absolutely. Yeah, because what happened, I was going to get into that as well, but, um, what what was said? Because didn't you make a comment that made a bunch of the girls uncomfortable? Like what no, not at all. Whatever whatever Kiki tried to like put out there was a personal phone call between her and I. So it's just kind of really funny that she, you know, honestly, I almost think that she kind of wanted a reason to not be my friend anymore or something, or a reason to hate me. Because let's be honest, I feel like, you know, a lot of people don't like me. So, you know just to fit in a lot of people are going to be like well let's just cut this person off now you know i feel and, and that's fucked up you know why couldn't she like have my back and just be like oh you know friends 
it's just really the whole situation sucks and i really don't know what else to say like you know i also don't want to say anything now that people are going to twist it on me well the great thing about this is that you get to tell your truth for the first time really like people yeah. get to what actually you what, in, your, in your opinion because even on Twitter, I don't think that you ever really like stood up for yourself. You kind of probably just stepped back, right? Yeah, I absolutely did. Because what's the point of me trying to fight uh, all these thousands of internet trolls? Someone says you said it's not like they died for no reason after she died. Okay. That's see, what... the, see, all this stuff that people are saying is stuff that Kiki had posted online. All Stop. this stuff, it, there was no, there's no screenshots, nothing, it was a phone call. And honestly, the thing that was said, she started talking about the police, like degrading the police. And in my political views, in my views, I, I'm pro-police. And I think more people should be pro-police because when there's no police, who the fuck are you going to call? Who do you call when you need help? Yeah, so that that was actually it. And she started talking about other things that police have done, killing, you know, you know, other people and i just said you know what kiki it's it's i said i said these people gave them a reason to defend themselves is what i meant it's like these police um you know they need to defend themselves too if they're gonna if you're like come. see this has nothing to do with the shayla though either though do you know what i mean no this it's is the bullshit. this is where it comes in the, the whole political shit so it's fucking crap, you know, and she can come at me all she wants and all these other people can as well. I know who I am. It's not, you're not going to make me lose any sleep at night. I'm a great person. People love me. Um, I would take the shirt off my back to give it to you. And that's that. So. I, I do want to just say that I, I do agree with you on that. I think people do have to respect the police. It, it's not... You know, it, it's hit or miss, but you have to, at the same time, when you need somebody there, who are we calling? These people yeah. have lives on the front line every day to protect us. Thank you, somebody just said she took it the wrong way. She absolutely did take it the wrong way. What I said was took and misconstrued it. She was already upset about something, which is totally understandable. But then she took what I said because she was upset and just fucking totally blasted me online. And let's, and honestly, as a friend, that's not what a friend does either. They should they should be like, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you mean by that? Let's just talk about this for a second, you know? Instead of just hanging up on me and then posting rumors all over the internet. That's disrespectful. And the well, fact that especially they're such a good friend and they would do that to me is really hurtful. It sucks. Do you think you guys could ever talk it out? Do you think? I would love to. I'm a very forgiving person. Um, as you could tell, like, on the show, when Bray and I got into that fight, like, I got knocked in the fucking face. And I still was friends with her afterwards. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guys can brawl it out. Girls can brawl it out, too, and become friends afterwards. You know? So. Well, we'll put it in. I have no ill feelings towards anybody. It actually sucks. I'd love for all of us to get together again. I have dreams about all of us getting together. I mean, this was a big part of my life, you know? It was a very bummer. A very huge part of your life, and I, that's why we love doing this too. Because people don't like people. We only see like a snippet of what they go through, guys. They we're filming for months, so there is a lot of stuff that we don't see off cameras. There's so much stuff of us getting along that they don't put on TV. I, they did. That. You know what I mean? Like if you look from season, like let's say like one to maybe five they actually build up the friendships and there was a storyline. And then when they realized that the fighting was getting more ratings, the, the, yeah. the, just pushing them to fight. You know, obviously it's no longer a show anymore either. So it's not like it matters, but I think you're right. They should have kept it how it was in the beginning. I mean, all these fights is just put totally putting out the wrong idea to people. You know, I mean, I could, I could fight with those girls on TV because I signed a disclosure. So we can't, uh, you know, sue each other. But you do that in the real world, honey, you're you're gonna get in trouble. You're jail. Yeah. You're going to jail. And I'm I guarantee you half these motherfuckers that watch BGCT wouldn't handle a thing in jail. I know I couldn't, so I couldn't and I would not get in prison. I would definitely be holding somebody's pocket. 
Kool-Aid, eyeshadow, everything. I'd be finding myself a girlfriend in there. That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> you know, so it's just really, the negativity in this world in general has got to fucking go. It's got to fucking go. You know, the harassment online, you know, it's awful. Half the time I want to delete my shit online, you know? Like because my life here in town and stuff is not this. It's very positive. I have friends, I have people everywhere, you know? This isn't the real world. No, it isn't. And people think it is. It's not. If, if your life's so, like, that's the thing. It's like, I do this, but I'll, I'll be transparent. I'm 32 years old. I'm a college graduate for broadcast journalism. This is, okay. what I, this is what I went to school to do, and I enjoy doing it. But I don't allow it to be my life. And so, yeah. kind of like you, I'm sure when you, because you guys actually did it when, social media was at its highest too right like the girls before you i think my space was just starting well because i think what was it before me it was like um yeah season yeah so they all were like well big on inter big on the internet or whatever so yeah it was just becoming bigger and, like, um, sometimes you got to step back from it it's like I'll, I'll dive in when i need to but i i don't allow it to be my real life because it's not no real exactly and walking an old lady across the sidewalk or like you know buying somebody a coffee well shit no honestly so much things happen in my life too that i'm like most people would be filming this right now but i'm not because i'm like taking in the moment you know yeah i, I don't want to like die one day and have my life flash before my eyes and have it just be a cell phone you know <laughs> yeah. so we've talked about kiki and guys in the comments please be respectful but i do want to just like bring up to Shayla. Is there any memories you have of her? And, um, for, yes. Oh my God. Do you remember? I, I kissed her. She was a, I kissed her as soon as I got into the bad girls clubhouse. It was like, kiss one of your um, roommates. And I kissed her and that was funny. No, you know, it, it really is sad. It's so sad. What happened to her? It really is. It, it's terrible. After you guys left the house at all? I didn't talk to her. You know, I know that she didn't show up to the, um, what was it? The reunion. We all the reunion. She didn't show up to the reunion. And you know what? And it's just so silly, too, because then that was all drama between those girls. I mean, I was not in it. You know what I mean? At all. So back then, she didn't show up because of the other girls. Nothing I did. We were friends with her before she left the show. You know, before we got home, she hung out with us. Yeah. You know? But, you know, God bless their soul. And they, there is lots of great memories. Like I said, we all got along on the show. Uh, they, they didn't show a lot of it, but we had so many good times together. Were you guys, and this is something that a lot of people have asked us in our comments, were you guys like, because it didn't really seem like you guys had any actual beef between each other. Were you guys like forced by production to fight? Um, I don't know if anything was said to any other girls, but as far as me, um, it, it, that, that was the real deal. That was straight up raw footage. All, all of it. No, I was not told to do it, anything. It be weird because she liked you the one minute and then the next minute it was like... Yeah, I think it is weird. I think it's fucking silly. It's, it's, what, what's the word I'm looking for? I mean, the whole Kiki thing, it, like, like I said, it sucks. It's a whirlwind. Um, she took what I said, took it in a whole different direction. It sucks, but that's her own prerogative, you know? I know what was said, I know what wasn't said, and I know how I feel, and I know what, who, who I am as a person, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and say I really personally feel like production pushed her into that because she didn't really have much of a storyline. Okay. So I think- Hey, you never know, you never know. I think they <laughs> Like, hey, like, you know, you're not really doing much. Like, you got to do your big one. You don't want to be, like, the forgetful girl on TV kind of idea. Yeah, what did that suck? <laughs> and God rest your soul, I'm not talking poorly about her, but it's like just, I'm just speaking on, as a viewer, what I've seen on the show. I don't really remember her being on a lot of it. She was very quiet, to be honest with you. You see her, like, audition videos, you know, like, the first episode that they aired of like all our casting videos. Yeah. Um, she seemed very outgoing, very out there, but then yeah, but once, um, once she got into the house, she was very quiet. I think she felt torn really. Well, I think that's a thing too, is like everybody thinks that they could do reality TV. 
No. And when you get there, it is a completely different ball game. It's good. I mean, before you even get on these reality shows, you're talking to a psychiatrist. They're giving you, um, you know, they're they're testing you. They they give you tests. They give you an IQ test. Um, you have to go to the doctor and make sure you know your doctor approves for you to go. It, it is really just way more than what people think it is. I mean, it's a career too. Let's be honest. It's like getting a job. Yeah. Okay. So this is a question that you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. But what did they pay you guys? Because they didn't like. Oh, babe, trust me. When I was blowing out my birthday candles when I was younger, I wish I said I was rich, rich instead of just famous. <laughs> I got famous, but I'm not rich by all means. I work hard. I'm a bartender still. Uh, you know, but that's how I make my money. So. You know, like, what did they pay you for being on the show? They did pay me. Um, you can get the lump sum at the end. I don't feel comfortable disclosing it um, online here over live. I mean, I will tell you personally because I feel like you're my buddy now. But because um, uh, I know, like, just for example, though, like going back, some of the girls told us they got like five hundred dollars a week. Yeah, and, that's about it. Like it was, I like, think it was like four hundred. Yeah, and then they told me that you guys, like, if you didn't do something, that production would fine you. And keep like some of your money. Oh yeah, well guess what? I might have been on the bad girls club, but I was a good girl, and production loved me because I fucking <laughs> had respect for them, unlike many of these other girls. So they loved me. First of all, I could, but they, you know, after I got into that fight with Bree and uh, I had left the house to like cool off. They went and bought me a burger. Okay, that's how much production loved me. As far as the other girls, yes. I remember Seven breaking the TV. She had to pay for the TV. You know, I mean, I mean, and that's just another common sense thing. I mean, take care of your surroundings. Take care of what's around you. Be respectful of your surroundings. I mean, they're putting us in that loft house for free. We're not paying to live there. We're living in LA for free. Have some respect. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, let's move on from to Shayla. Um, what about... What about seven? Huh? What about Seven? You know what? I actually um, have been re-watching the episodes because I got a little peanut here and she has separation anxiety, so I put on Bad Girls Club so she hears my voice. And you know what? I, I, there was this one little interview where Seven's like, Fran's really starting to um, rub off on me or something, like, in a positive way. And I think that was really cool. I have nothing bad. I really have nothing bad to say about anybody, to be honest. Like, that was, this was years ago now. You know, I was 22. I'm 29 now. These other girls have grown up as well. Yes. Which, Beautiful baby. Yeah. So it is, you know what, all this shit that I've been past, you know, even when I put with Kiki and I, like, you asked me, I, I'd be friends with her tomorrow if she just would freaking swallow whatever fucking pill she's got in her mouth, you know? So Kiki, you hear this on Reality Positivity, Fran will be your friend, hit her up, call her. I'm sure you guys still have each other's numbers. Fran doesn't seem like the kind of girl who changes her phone number that often. <laughs> no, I don't. Stop it. I don't just, it's just in case, you know, Bad Girls Club wants to call me again or something. <laughs> Not the same number. You know her phone number. Hit her up. Because honestly, guys, like, people be dropping, like, flies. And you got to really... Well, no, and that's the thing. I mean, if, if she were to pass tomorrow, I, I would be devastated as well. It, it's really sad, you know. And, and it is. This world we live in tomorrow's not guaranteed i know i sound so cliche but i really am not i just i wish there was more love in this world <laughs> really did you watch seven on baddies um i don't think i would ever do baddies because it's really fucking ratchet <laughs> did you watch seven on it though i didn't i saw like clips online uh she seemed very mellow she like kind of like stepped back a lot am i right yeah, she kind of viewed instead of really got involved. I think a lot of people change a lot after they have children, too. Yeah. And I was surprised that she was even on it, considering that she did have children. And she, you know, I mean, I like the concept. I, you know, I miss Bad Girls Club. But like I said, I'm sorry. It's definitely too ratchet for me. Like, <laughs> I, people 
a lot of people are like they want girls like you or blonde. <laughs> I am like the pair, like a Paris Hilton, you know. Like I feel like we need more little Paris Hiltons on TV shows. <laughs> yeah, like they're just gonna go on there and get attacked, and it wouldn't be fun. Like, well, uh, and honestly, that's what everybody, that's what I think. Like, you should go on baddies. Oh, why? So I can get fucking attacked as soon as I show up because kicked out of me. No, thank you. Like, no. Why would I put myself in a situation like that? They just said, I, I know you haven't seen it, but do you know who Wo Vicky is? She's like an internet girl. She's like, she's like really little and white. And like, she used to pretend to be gangster. And for some reason they cast her on the show and it was just like the stupidest choice. The poor little girl just got beat up. And, yeah, that's terrifying. And she's like real small and like praying to Jesus and stuff. And she got her ass beat and like, you know what? I like this one question that somebody asked. Like, what shows would you consider doing? Because that's actually pretty funny because I've been in the process of trying to get another TV show. Um, I personally um, don't even really want reality. I actually really want to act, like do some script work. So, but that's kind of very hard to get into as well. It's kind of all about who you know, am I right? Um, as for reality TV, I'd really love to do Love is Blind because I'm still single. I don't, you know, have a boyfriend. I, I'm straight. Um, but I, I just, it's so hard. The dating world is so hard nowadays. Am I like, right or what? <laughs> we could see you on a dating show. Yeah. So I, that's definitely really what I want because I feel like I try these dating apps. Um, these, so then you can say, um. You still have a chance at love. Do you want my? Oh, I love that. Is that like a potion bottle? No, it's a heart that I make. So I actually own a jewelry business. These are all locally pressed flowers and crystals, and then my partner wire wraps some of them for me. I love that. Get you one. Well, you I will order one from you. My person. Join MTV's the challenge. I've actually applied for that multiple times because I would love, 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 love to do that. I think I'd be great for the challenge. But I, that, like, you seem like that's why it's a bummer that it stopped after because I could have seen you being fun on like All Star Battle. Oh my God, I would have fucking loved it. Like that, it would be cool if they did that. But now everybody's so much like everyone's like they have to bring it back. Oxygen was like teasing a bring back. Um, I, I don't think they will. Oxygen became, um, it's a crime network now anyways, really, so I really don't think that they would throw any reality on there. We did ask her if she would do baddies, and she would not, guys. Um, okay, so let's move on. What about Key Marie? Any thoughts or memories about her? Key Marie. No, nah, not really. I mean, she was wild. She was a fucking firecracker, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's a Leo like me as well. She seemed like she was a really angry person in the house. Very angry. Very angry. I can't relate to that. I mean, I get angry, obviously, but it's too much time and effort. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, it, I would be walking around on anxiety around that kind of a person. It's like walking on eggshells. You don't want to piss her off because the, the, the dumbest thing is going to make her, you know, fly off the handle. Yeah. What about Sayora? I she's such an interesting person to me. Like, I just she's fascinating. I think. Um, I I found her fascinating when I was friends with her until she just kind of dropped me like a fly too for no good reason. Uh, she's very desperate for the limelight. I think. Which again, you know, that's that's a whole fake world, anyways. Um, I don't agree with all her surgery that she gets either. I think she was a beautiful girl. You see what she did to her eyes? Yeah, I mean, I from my understanding, she went to Mexico to get that surgery. So I just personally, she was a beautiful girl and she really didn't need to do any of that. Um, and I also believe if there's nothing really wrong, don't be messing around with your body. Yeah, that weirded me out when she did that to her eyes because I thought she was just really beautiful. She since had them taken out. Basically. Still though, I mean, the, your eyes are like the entrance of your soul. You know what I mean? So the fact that those are even fake <laughs> or were right. No. <laughs> we have Kiki 
Che. Who am I forgetting? Susan. I know we didn't, uh, we didn't get to spend much time with her considering she got uh, kicked out of the house, so. <laughs> For now, a lot of people wanted to know, was she really coming at somebody with a knife? Is that why she was? Oh my God, did you even watch my season, babe? <laughs> They said that they said that they cut it out and she was coming at somebody with like a knife or like a tail comb. Man, I love the internet. Holy shit. Nah, she was coming at me with a rat tail comb. She, she never had a knife in her hand though. Oh. I don't think she's that psycho. That has like the spike, right? Yeah, yeah, rat tail comb. It's uh yeah, metal. It's like the metal end. So yeah. I mean it is pointy. But is that terrifying though? Like I mean, if you watch this, like, episode, I'm, like, standing on the bed, if I recall, and I'm just like, you look like a fucking psycho. That was, like, <laughs> one of the phrase lines. <laughs> yeah. But it was really fucked up. I'm like, wait. What, wait you're, she, like, had this look in her eyes, like, holding it. Like, I'm like, oh, my God. I said, you guys said no weapons. Get this girl out of here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's so crazy. So that yeah, that let's see it. Anything else you want to know that was wild like that? Well, let's finish off with the cast. What about Brie? I think was the only replacement, right? Uh, yeah, she was a replacement. I remember I was so like uh, nervous because it was another blonde hair or blonde, yeah, blonde hair, like blue eyed girl. I'm like, who's this chick coming? She's gonna, you know, take my shine, and then she comes in and she's nothing like me. So that was a blessing. That was that was a sigh of relief. Like, we might, like, have the same hair color and stuff, but we are completely two different people. Completely. Have you talked to her since the show? No. No, none of them. I haven't talked to her. Like I said, we were, all of us kind of, like, stayed in touch for a little bit after the show, but life moves on, you know, big girl jobs, things like that. Do you regret getting into a fight with her? Because I know it's, you didn't want to fight. No, she pissed in the limo, and that's how that all started, though. Like, she pissed yeah. in the limo. I remember, like, thinking how ratchet that was because, like, again, like, we're in this beautiful, like, van limo thing, and you're just, like, disrespecting it by pissing all over the floor, you know? So that's kind of what started that fight. Um, I was very drunk that night. I remember being in the club, and I just was, like, annoyed with everybody. So I was just taking the VIP bottle and just, like, you know, dancing with it, drinking it, and I got hammered. So that night, yeah, when I got home, and I got rocked in the face by her, yeah, I was drunk. But you know what? It is what it is. I don't even give a fuck. I, I say that now. You know, like, you're never going to win every battle. You're going to get hurt sometimes in an altercation, and it is what it is. <laughs> you know? You win some, you lose some. Exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't classify myself as ever having lost a fight, but I've been like hit from behind where I don't get to protect myself. Well, let's be honest. When she punched me, it was a sucker punch as fuck. So, and I was being blocked by, I forgot who was in front of me, like whether it was Say or Kiki or something. So. Someone said, remember when you said you want to be an escort your whole life? And she said, I'm not an escort, I'm a stripper. That was funny because I'm baddie. She admitted to being an escort. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> See, you know what? Listen, you know what? There's, I know there's people out there that love me and have my back, and they are my fans, and I feel like they were afraid for a little bit to like kind of stick up for me because they really didn't understand what was happening, what was going on. I feel like after this interview, we kind of cleared the air a little bit. Hopefully, my fans will start coming out of the woodwork and, you know, saying shit like that because that's funny. <laughs> uh, I want to add to that, guys, um, we aren't going to sex chain here. Sex work is work. Um, no, it is. I'm not saying it either. Absolutely, I'm not. Because you know what? Uh, there was this bar or a strip club near me that was hiring bartenders, and my mother was like, oh, let's go check it out. And I said, Mom, if I start bartending there, I'm going to start stripping. So, <laughs> hey, listen, I thought about it. I'm not shaming nothing at all. It's just funny because... I'm so, like... <laughs> I know strippers in Vancouver like I worked at the strip clubs I worked in the gay bars where I have to walk around and basically nothing so love it work I, however I do agree they didn't want to show that on BH um what was it on oxygen they didn't they didn't want to air or talk about stuff like that though 
Well, no, I know it's kind of like the promoting drinking, like with the drinking games. It's kind of like I feel like they don't want to promote people to be escorts. Well, because honest, I was watching Bad Girls Club when I was a little kid. Like, I'm 32 now, and there was, what, 17 seasons? You were on the 17th, right? I was on the 17th season. It's It was the last season. So. Yeah. Did, did they tell you guys that it was going to be the last season? No, we had no idea, but... I feel like we kind of knew when, when it was a loft because we we're like, oh, are they like running out of money? And it kind of just makes sense now because in in reality, I mean, I'm sure they were. They were running out of money. They, they only had so much left to do to try to revive it. Um, I'm just lucky that I was able to get on it before uh, it, it ended. So a couple people ask a few questions here. Sure. Uh, asked, was there any unaired altercations? Uh, of course not. They were going to air every single altercation there was. <laughs> also, did they really, like, Seven kind of came in like she was a celebrity, hey? Like, did they really make that big of a deal, or was that just editing? I think it was editing. I mean... Because didn't she, like, come in, at, like, later, last, and, like... So they had her on the fucking rooftop for, like, hours <laughs> while we're inside, like, flitting around and drinking and stuff. So if that's being a celebrity, I don't want to be one. <laughs> I'm assuming because obviously it was the last season, you were never asked to do anything else with oxygen? No, unfortunately not. And, you know, it is a bummer. And I, like, try to even think nowadays, like, is there somebody I can hit up to kind of help me with the endeavors that I want to do now? And, I, there, there, you know, there isn't. I almost feel like even these people in the production, like, they're there to work as well. And they're always trying to climb the ladder as well. Do you know what I mean? So even if one of the, the, the people I knew from the show, I have their number, I call them, they're probably not even still doing that. They probably climbed the ladder or are doing something completely different. Yeah. So you would do Love is Blind. Absolutely. Or um, I really like any dating show. You know what I wish I was more of? You know what I've been watching clips of is uh, Brett Michaels' Rock of Love. <laughs> I would totally do uh, something like that. You want to know who I'm actually good friends with? Who? Kay La Jolla. Is that? Is, I see. I don't know like all the cast or anything. Like, so I just been so watching. It, so date it was, I believe, the season one semi-finalist, and then she got her spinoff, Daisy of Love. Oh, Daisy! That's what you said. Yes, yes, because I see clips of Daisy of Love as well. Yeah, I, her and I kiki all the time. She has a bunch of my necklaces. I've sent her a bunch of my, my art out to, I believe she's in Vegas. Oh my god, well that's wild. We talk that's all the time. Because cool, I actually, I am a fan of Daisy. I think she's cool. She's the sweetest girl, I have to say. like, And that's the thing, is like, there's, that's why I loved interviewing her, because just because she stepped out of the limelight for a long time, everybody was making all these assumptions and so on and so forth, and like, and then when she's like, no, I'm just busy in school, and I'm a, I'm a nice girl who's not like on TV, everyone's- well, that's kind of what I feel like is me too. I just, you know, since Bad Girls Club, I kind of like, yeah, I do have like my social media and stuff, but I'm pretty quiet, you know, because I'm a big girl. I. Uh, I work, I have my own apartment, um, you know, I have a beautiful car, I have an Audi, you know, I just have like all these, you know, things that I have to work hard for, so. <laughs> Do you enjoy bartending? Oh, I love it. I'm going on 11 years now. Yeah, that's what, um, that's what I do either than my, my jewelry business and obviously this is I bartend. Not working right now. I actually had a job trial last night and the guy was not very nice and told me to go home <laughs> oh i'm sorry uh it's okay listen not everybody like i just i'm old enough to know that i'm not going to settle and i don't want to be disrespected by anybody yeah and, and don't let it uh don't let it uh like what's the word i'm looking for turn you off from bartending because there's so many bars out there trust I me i've bars so my not a fit for me the bar I'm at now, I've actually been there for three years now. I'm very good friends with all my coworkers, and it's just a really great place to work. So See, you're going to find it. 
that's what I want, right? Is you want somewhere that you go to where you feel like it's it's a family. It's not like you work, but you do it together and you all kill it, have a good time and make some money. Yeah. You know what I actually applied for? Because I think this is something fun everybody would like to hear. Um, I know that uh, Lisa Vanderpump has just put, um, there was a casting out because she's opening up a new bar, like an island. So I had applied for that because seriously, dude, they want me as a bartender. I'm a great bartender. I hate to toot my own horn, but I'm good. Um, they never hit me back up or anything, but it was something I was definitely trying to manifest. I felt like I would have been really good for that as well. Uh, Step Step Villa is what it was called, or is Step called. Cool says, who are your favorite bad girls from other seasons? Oh my God. So like, I guess maybe before you joined the show, did you have any favorite? No. I did, but you know what? Like, I wish I could like think of their names. Was that look into Kara Casting? Okay, thanks, buddy. Um, uh, so. Yeah, I'm on Kara Casting. It's actually a good one to be on. Oh, I, well, that's great. I, uh, and all of it is filmed in the States, <laughs> so. <laughs> um, but. Uh, no, I don't, I don't know anybody's, like, names, really. I did, like, some, like, looked up, like, I like all the blonde girls. I like the blonde girls. <laughs> I love all the blonde girls. <laughs> did you meet any of the, like, previous cast members, like, after the show? Did I what? Did you meet any of, like, the, like, other bad girls from, like, past seasons after you filmed? No, I didn't, um... No, because honestly, because where I live, I think, because I'm on the East Coast, I'm in Connecticut, um, so there's not, like, a lot of, no, there's not a lot going on out here, really. I mean, there is a lot of retired actors and actresses that live out here and stuff. So, <laughs> you know, Bill Bougie. <laughs> no, you never met Natalie Nunn? No, no, I've never talked to any of them, no. No? No. What would you do if they asked you to join Baddies? I'd say, do I get a personal bouncer? <laughs> That's what I'd say. I'd consider it as long as there's a bouncer in there or something. <laughs> and I'd be like, and as long as I'm not getting jumped as soon as I come through that fucking front door. Right. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want to tell the fans? Uh, nothing in particular except follow your dreams. Be nice to one another. Uh, leave things nicer than you found them. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> well, friend, blast talking to you. And I'm really glad that I got a chance to because I want, once again, we want people to know who you really are. Yeah. Or the TV has an edit. And you know what? The internet can do whatever they want to do. But it's, this is raw. This is real. Um, so thank you for, like, hanging out, chatting with me. Um, my Instagram is the real Darcy Daniel. I will follow you. Yes, I'd love to get your personal info. Um, once yeah, you're yeah. Done. I'll exchange that with you. Also, yeah. watching this is done by you, me, and nature. That's U M I and nature. U M I means mother in Arabic and water in Japanese, or vice versa. I can't remember right now, but it's basically a flower crystal necklace line that I make myself. Um, and you can follow Francesca. What's your what's your full at, friend? So my full at is my, is my full name, Francesca Jacobino. I know it's kind of hard to spell, but I'm sure it'll pop up. <laughs> it ended. All right, friend. Well, thank you. And then yeah, I'm gonna hit you up. Thank you, sweetheart. You're so nice, and thank you everybody for tuning in. And I love you all too. <laughs> all right, guys. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye. -bye.